last episode we got the boat repaired. In this episode we put it in the water to take it to Oswego. And we think it'll be plain sailing. We are wrong. done and the painting done, the boat was ready to go back in the water. But our original plan of spending a month sailing Lake Ontario and then heading down through the canals to Point South was shot. We had a deadline because they closed the Erie Canal on October 14th at 5 p.m. and we had to be through it and out the bottom or we would be stuck over the winter in a boat with no heat. With the boat in the water, there was still a lot to do. Robert was caught playing Minecraft instead of doing schoolwork and had to polish all of the portals. Then we had to get the stove actually connected and up and running. What is it? Take a look. Come in and see what, what's new. Why is it so hot? Can you turn it off? It's kind of really hot in here. The bimini top is completely ragged and falling apart. Apparently it got down to negative 20 up in Toronto and uh, the whole thing shattered. Um, and we called about getting a new one. They can't even start for the next six weeks and we gotta be out of here in a few days. So uh, I'm gonna do the best I can kind of taping it back together. The masts had to be put on wooden cradles on top of the deck so that we could get through the low bridges of the canals. But before we could actually leave, there was one more thing we had to do. Celebrate Robert's 10th birthday. So someone asks, you know, hey, do you got a ruler? I don't have one. And you're like, yeah, man. And they're like, dude, that's your bracelet. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It is September 27th, Monday morning, early. We are going to leave. We're going to leave Olcott Marina. We're going to head down, head along the coast to Oswego Canals and take the Oswego Canal south to the Hudson River. The boat is here. It is, uh, it is back together. What we thought would be five days in the boat yard and about 5,000 bucks to get the bottom painted Turns out to have been five weeks in the boatyard and the budget we were going to spend on traditional rigging instead has gone towards making sure that the water stays on the outside of the boat uh, and the only holes in the hull are ones that we want to be there. Um, we'd wanted to spend September sailing up and down Lake Ontario to get a feel for the boat and instead we won't. So we're just going to be motoring for the next couple of days but you can come along with us as we motor down through the canals of upstate New York during fall and the changing of the colors, it should be beautiful. Spain, oh, we've received orders to sail for old England. 
So never more will we see you again Will Rampton will roar like true British sailors Will Rampton will roar all across the salt sea Until we strike soundings in the channels of old England From Russian to Silly It is our second day at sea, well at lake. Spent the night at Brockport Yacht Club at Sandy Creek and we are now en route uh, to Oswego Canal. We are not in Oswego Canal, we're in Sodus Bay where we had to stop because the engine is now leaking coolant fluid. Uh, we got some wonderful help from the people at Catlin Marine. We ordered a new water pump. So if I get this thing on, Hopefully that will stop the leak and we'll be able to keep trucking to get to the canal before they close it for the winter. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's Benton. Well, oh, you're coming. <laughs> We left Sodus Bay. We are, I think, the only people out on Lake Ontario this late in the season. We should make it to us. We go in about four hours and then we start down the canals. Danielle worked it out. If we can do five hours of solid motoring a day, uh, not including time waiting at the locks, we should be able to get through lock one, the last lock before we get to the Hudson River, before they close it in seven days at 5 p.m. And we need to be out or we're gonna be stuck in the canal for the winter. So that is our deadline and we're gonna make it somehow or other. We ran into a bit of weather. I couldn't stop to film, but the aft mast cradle uh, collapsed and the mast started sliding. Um, they're currently resting on this boom piece, which is beginning to go, uh, but I've lashed everything down. So hopefully we'll still have our masts when we get to as we go. We only have about an hour to go and then we'll be able to, to pull into the harbour and assess the damage and uh, tie everything down a little. 